Hey all, welcome back. Right, so we left off last time getting the uh, assembly done on that side. So I'm going to start off quickly, stick it on a quick time lapse, get these whipped on, get everything buttoned up, and uh, then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to jack front end up, I'm going to take front shocks off because obviously I put the uh, old springs back on and I've got them uh, them new Spax springs to stick on so then all the suspension is going to be brand new um, I booked in for a new windscreen fitting it's apparently going to be like two week so I'm not going to be able to get it MOT'd <coughs> in this video but I'm hoping to get all the exhaust sorted out, like I say, all fresh, all new suspension on, all this back end reassembled, and uh, might even get a little bit more bodywork, you know, a bit of welding done on bodywork. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So, right, let's crack on, stick you on a quick time lapse, wrap this back end up, get all these put back on, and I'll show you what it's like when everything's on. <laughs> them done looking uh, pretty nice under there now huh? so need to jack front up now and uh, take them front shocks off and get them new springs put on them and we're not far off not far off now um, Probably take them down pipes off. Uh, like I said in the last one, I ordered a sports cat, so that should be coming in a couple of days. I've got some uh, stainless welding wire, so we can weld that in. Then, if you look at this exhaust here, where it joins at the back here, it's a bit knackered so what i might do is i might just cut these off and uh, get it in position and just weld it up i've, I've all that as a solid piece uh, i think it should, it should be all right it's not like i'm going to be taking it off and on all the time so i think that's what i might end up doing because it keeps coming loose that i know you should have springs on there but i ended up taking them off and just trying to bolt it up as tight as I could and it still just came loose so I think that's what I want to do um, so right I'll get them uh, that front end jacked up now get them springs off so what them shocks are right so that's one of the springs out Was he dog back? that's one of my new springs hey. And then I've got two new that I'd not changed them before. Um, all these bits on end are all brand new. Uh, new shops, they're the eye back springs that I painted up that were originally on it. But seeing as I've got a set of four, that's what's going on. And then these go on top, I'll show you. So. 
right there. So that's where they go. Thought it'd match engine up a little bit, paint them. So yeah, let's uh, get this spring swapped over, do it other side, and then uh, we can crack on. We're getting that exhaust off, ready for when uh, that new cat comes. We'll get that welded in. Here we go. That's one done. We'll just quickly stick that one back in there, and uh, get other one done. Right. Lovely. Both sides done. Right, so that's all that done now. Been round, bled all brakes, so all them are sorted. Um, my cat's come. Um, so I'm going to get them down pipes off now. Do a bit of cutting, a bit of welding, get this exhaust put back on. And then it's pretty much ready for MOT. All I've got to do is just wait for my window getting fitted, uh, which we're on Monday now. It's booked in not for this Friday, but for Friday after. So a bit of a wait, I know. Um, but I suppose I can make a start on doing a bit of body work while I'm waiting for that. But first we need to get this put on. So what I'm going to have to do is because I don't need that, um, I've just been in touch with motor spares to see if I can get a stainless nut to bung it up. And they said they can't get one, so I think I'll just cut a bit of stainless uh, pipe, you know, for exhaust out at section that I'm going to cut out for this and just weld a little section of it, top of it. it it'll do job. And then uh, we'll get that welded in, try and get all the exhaust system put back on and uh, get a start and see what it sounds like. Right, so I've got the downpipe off. Uh, obviously a bit of crappy goings on there. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to re-weld that up. Now, looking at it, this is magnet. It's not sticking to these. That tells me that they are actually stainless. They are not. Or they could possibly be a different type of stainless. But And then all this, it sticks to. So don't know why it'd have a bit of section that's stainless and a bit that's not but if we go to this section all this is definitely stainless as you can clearly tell um, so I don't know what's going off I'm going to cut this off weld it back together there and then I'm going to cut a section out of here and that is where my, uh, my new cat's going to go so I'm going to measure from end to about here. I'm going to get this off first and see what's going off there. Right, so as you can see it's a little bit shitty there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this section out there and there. Weld that back together, which will move flexi that way a little bit. And then I'm going to put my uh, cat in this section. Now I've measured it like straightened it up measured it from that chalk mark to end it's like 28 inches so as long as we get that distance back we should be fine there's plenty uh, plenty of room under car for it all to fit back in nicely so i'm not worried about that so let's get cutting i'll uh, try this B start, see how well that does. Thank you. 
Alright, so that's that section welded back up again. What I need to do now is just chop a piece out of there, measure it back up to what length I need, weld that cart in. So let's uh, crack on, get that done now. So just welded that bung up. Should be uh, alright. So we'll get that welded back on the exhaust. Um, probably going to have to cut this section down a little bit more but I can get it welded onto this side first and then uh, measure it and see what I need to cut that at so we'll get set up for that now Here we go. It's uh, nicely on there, that. It's definitely looking a bit better than all that crappy stuff on it. So we'll uh, cut this to what length we need. <coughs> get that welded in as well. Hey, hey, here we go. One nice new shiny cat welded in. So, what I need to do is I need to get another one of these because for some reason I, it kind of fell off when I was taking it out and it vanished and just completely disappeared. I could not find it anywhere uh, so I need to nip out and get another one and then we can get that exhaust put back in and uh, Try and sort out the back box which is buried underneath all this crap. Need to have a good tidy art as well. So right, we'll go get that now. Right, got my two new seals. Bloody typical in it. When I took car, found the other one. But uh at least I've got two new ones, I'll just stick them on. Because I don't think this section will be coming off again. So we'll get that slapped on. Uh, dig this exhaust out and we'll have a look at that I'll get that centre section fitted and then see how that back box fits up uh, right, we'll crack on with that then right, so that is now on for what is hopefully the last time so let's get this other section put on right, got the centre section up have a go at this but I think I'm gonna to have to weld it on because it looks a bit knackered but I'll just uh, get a quick test fit plus I haven't got any more bolts for it now because uh, I can't find them well I've had to cut these ones off but the only ones I could find I've had to use at that end so we'll, uh, we'll get it up see what position it's in and I think I might have to weld it on um, I have had a look, I can actually buy some, uh, I think they're two and a half inch uh, proper connectors so later on I might end up just cutting it off and buying some of them connectors and welding some new connectors back on it but for now I'll just, uh, I'll just weld it on, <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be right so we'll crack on, we'll just get it test fitted now, see what else I need to do Right, that's the back box just on the rubbers. So, as you can tell, that's where we need to join, but even if I bolt it, it's not going to seal because it's a bit knackered. So, I'm going to mark it up, and uh, I think I might actually even try tacking it on under the car and then take it off and weld it up solid uh, don't know yet I might leave it for today and have a have a ponder 
Right, I've got it on. There is going to be a bit of a blow on it because it's not sealed up properly. Um, I've not welded it on yet, but I just want to give it a start and see what it sounds like. So. Smells a little bit now, ain't it? Um, didn't actually seem to be running very well then. I'm pressing accelerator and it sort of died a little bit. Um, I know it is proper empty on fuel, so I will put some fuel in it. Uh, can't see what else it would be because it was running fine before. Uh, I don't know. We'll have a look at it, but that exhaust definitely blowing a lot, needs a lot of welding. I think that's the only way to get around it. Different day, I put some petrol in it and it's running all right now. Um, still need to sort that exhaust out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly fit the back bumper uh, loosely back on just to see the position of that uh, exhaust. So I might end up having to get some like longer exhaust mounts. So we'll try that now. Well, that's a bit awkward to do when you send, but managed it that exhaust looks like it's uh, in a pretty good position so I'll take that back box off I, I have actually got a bit of another exhaust that I've managed to acquire um, I might be able to bodge it up without having to weld it um, together you know to the center section so I'll grab them we'll get that back box off we'll have a look see what i can do right so i acquired this piece it had a ring on it I, i've cut that off and opened it up a bit what i've done is i've cut this bit of bad section out i've shaped that so that it fits in there now it is a bit long but if you look at the actual shape um that goes to the same height as this section here you'll see that it actually kind of follows that shape so I'm going to weld that on there and then I'll just trim this length down a little bit just to make it match other and then uh, I think what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of exhaust paste on it 
and bolt it back on and then that should do the job hopefully so let's get that welded on now right that's that welded in just need to uh, grind it up all nice and smooth now uh, I think what I might do is I might leave this a little bit longer but just blend them edges in a little bit I don't think it'll make much difference if I, it'll make it a bit better for sealing I reckon so let's uh, get that cleaned up then now right I'm gonna leave it at that I was gonna trim it down a little bit but I think it'll be all right like that fits on uh, nicely I'll just put a little bit of exhaust paste around there and get that refitted and then hopefully that should stop it from blowing right that is it it's back on just got to start it up now let it idle a bit so it cures that uh, exhaust paste and that is it just got a bit more things to do on front of the car um got a bumper to put back on uh, there's a little leak on the radiator i think it's coming from one of the sensors so i'm gonna have a quick look at that then get lights put back on front bumper put back on uh, that other side skirt wheel linings wheels and then just waiting for that window to get fitted and then it's take it for mot Ooh, exciting times isn't it so if you're enjoying it so far remember subscribe it helps us out and uh, i'll see you in the next one cheers uh -huh.